coronavirus. That announcement is desperately welcome, but it comes far too late for the 5,000 plus nursing home patients who have already died in New York. Michael Goodwin has been covering this debacle from the very first day. At times, he was the only person covering it for the New York Post, where he writes. We're happy to have him on site. Michael, thanks a lot for coming on. So we know more. You've reported more since we last spoke. Where are we in this scandal? Well, as you said, uh, the governor reversed the March 25th policy, which required nursing homes to take uh, COVID positive patients who were being discharged from hospitals. That order gave them no time to prepare. It went into effect immediately. It treated all nursing homes as though they were able to segregate patients and staff when many of them weren't. It didn't do any inspections to see if these were good nursing homes or bad nursing homes. The goal was simply to get these patients uh, who were COVID positive out of the hospitals to free up the hospital bed. Now, this, was, this happened at a time, of course, when families were banned from visiting the nursing homes mm. uh, lest they bring in the coronavirus. So uh, while the families are banned, the governor orders that hundreds, if not thousands of infected patients go into these nursing homes. And from that day, uh, one owner said to me uh, shortly thereafter, uh, her residents began dropping like flies. Uh, this, was, this was like throwing a thousand matches into dry timber. It set every one of these, house, these uh, nursing homes on fire in terms of the number of patients who died. I mean, I've never seen in all my years of covering politics in New York a consequential policy like this one. It's one of the saddest stories I've seen a, a colleague of ours at Fox lost two relatives uh, in New York nursing homes as a result. Um, two quick questions. Has Cuomo apologized for doing this? And why are his approval ratings so high nonetheless in New York? Well, to the first, uh, to the apologies, quite the opposite. He says the policy worked. But my answer to that is if it worked, why did you change it? Uh, he's that's simply incapable of admitting a mistake, even one as so horrific as this. And, and that's part of the tragedy because he won't respond to the families that write to him that, who lost loved ones. Uh, I think he should meet with them. And uh, look, you know, whether this is going to be too little, too late, it certainly is for the many thousands who have already died. Uh, but I think it is finally a recognition that the policy was responsible for many of these deaths. So the governor won't call it a reversal, but it absolutely is. Not, not only is he forbidding the hospitals from sending COVID positive patients to nursing homes, he's also now for the very first time requiring nursing home staffs to be tested twice a week. So why did he wait all this time to do even that? Uh. It, was, it was the most thoughtless, unconscionable policy I have ever seen in New York. It's, it's the worst policy, and that's saying a lot, I've seen enacted since this began. Uh, Michael Goodman, thank you for reporting on this again from the beginning alone at first. Good to see you tonight.